It's an idea that was inspired by a universal problem for boaties around the world. Launching. Sea legs is an amphibious technology and it was an idea born right here in New Zealand. Yeah, I, I think you can have a great invention, but it, unless it actually solves the problem, the invention can't become commercial. At the start it was people just didn't believe that boats needed wheels. And uh, you know, over the last five years we've slowly but surely proven that uh, uh, the wheel systems on boats provide a more credible entry and exit from the water and a much more reliable way to get on and off a boat. With a yearly turnover of nearly $10 million, Sea Legs is no doubt in safe waters. The 42-year-old CEO's role with Sea Legs is key to its success. Selling the concept, applying design feedback, and increasing its global appeal. Sea Legs is still a technology company. You know, we build boats right now to prove that our technology works. But the hope is one day that people will license our technology and put it on that boat over there that's in the harbour and you have boats all around the world. Already the sea craft with its retractable steerable wheels are being used by rescue and defence forces across Asia and New Zealand. We've had boats that haven't been able to get quite as close inshore. Uh, sea Legs has really revolutionised the way that we are able to handle certain jobs. So it makes everything very seamless. I mean, the transition from water to land, it's, it's not an issue. The spirit of enterprise has always been David's first love. That took him a while to commit to. I suppose it was, uh, I'll bring it back to the clash of my Western and Asian cultures. I was raised in uh, Singapore where yeah, the schooling and education system over there is very strict and it's, uh, yeah, I really admire them. They're very disciplined and very strict. And I was raised in that environment and I came back to New Zealand when I was 13 and I just thought, wow, school's a breeze over here. Yeah, it really is. But I still had that you know, internal programming that to be a success I needed to go to university and go to get a degree and mum and dad wouldn't be happy unless I did. So uh, I did. I went and became an accountant. That was the easiest thing for me to sort of really become. But because I was doing it unwillingly, I think there was a part of me that wanted to be an entrepreneur. And I think New Zealanders as a whole are a lot more innovative than I say than I'd say in Singapore where I was. And what makes this innovation even more unique is its 100% Kiwi made. Each week, three boats valued at nearly $100,000 each are made right here in this factory in Auckland's North Shore by a diverse team of people. It's not every day that one sees a product of this complexity manufactured right here in New Zealand. But it's the fact that Sea Legs owns the idea and the patent behind it that makes it possible. Sea Legs is the brainchild of a partnership between David and Morris Bryan, the designer and company founder. They've also been the team behind other huge Kiwi successes like IT companies, PC Direct and Exonet. But Sea Legs was no doubt a world away from that past. When it started off, the only people who believed in it were myself and Morris. I mean, there was a lot of public mockery, I think, because we were listed and we hadn't, yeah, you know, we came under the scrutiny of the public. And a boat with wheels was, you know, I proudly say today, an absurd idea. It was, you yeah? know, and uh, today it's accepted, you yeah? and more than just New Zealand as well. So I'm very proud of that story. Yeah, we've worked together for uh, probably almost 20 years now at a number of different businesses. Generally, they've been startup companies and, and uh, grown very quickly, high growth companies, international uh, expansion. So, yeah, we have a bit of a formula of working together that seems to be very successful. We have the complete manufacturing process. We start with the raw sheets of aluminium, cut it, weld it together, then we send it away for paint. And then it comes in, we start the assembly process where we put all the parts in, uh, put all the hydraulics, the outboards, get it all ready. And then uh, finally we put the tubes on, we do a water test every single sea legs, get a water, water test and a sea trial, and then we pack it and ship it internationally. It's, uh, it's great to have everything in house, it really means we've got total control over the process, the quality and the design. It's a design that's driven by customer input, David being the key link between the two. You know, the customer drives the product, so the customer will say we want a bigger one, we need a bigger fuel tank, we need more horsepower, we need more uh, horsepower on the land, we need more speed, we need a bigger ski pole. A lot of features, but it's the simplicity that Sea Legs true appeal across the board. By keeping it simple, you keep it foolproof as well. You know, remember we ship this boat to over 25 countries in the world, to every different environment, to ice, to the heat, you know, the height, ice of Alaska, to the heat of India. You don't really need 
need to be an accomplished seaman or a sailor to get this right, do you? No, again, it, it's a keep it simple concept coming through the product. Like my 10-year-old can drive it, yeah. you can drive it. It's incredible. That the the same, yeah, drive. that's incredible that, that the defence force can get away with driving the same thing that a 10-year-old can. Exactly, and they get the same, it's exactly the same boat. The same boat that my 10-year-old drives around her water ski on. Yeah. And all the strengths and benefits that one of the defence forces that go to Malaysia has. And it's on this boat that David's crossed the English Channel at a world record speed, circumnavigated the North Island of New Zealand, and plans the South Island this month. I'd probably give up my uh, car before I gave up my boat. I love the ocean. The ocean's awesome. It calms your soul. David's love for the sea continues to fuel his love for a good idea. It hasn't been easy, and uh, I think the thing that helps me is, is the ocean. You know, I, uh, if I have a dispute with my wife, you'll find me on my boat about five minutes later, floating around the middle of the ocean, and if I'm having a hard day at work and I disappear, you'll probably find me out there floating around on the ocean. So sea legs, kind of, for me, is my, um, my, my crutch. You know, I really, it's part of me, this product, and uh, you know, I plan to make it a real big part of the world one day. The summer.